Round two! Ready, go! Real honesty with Dermotlin and... The Dermotator. Smackdown Live Manchester. We're not going to review the Mixed Match Challenge anymore. Fuck that show. Mm. Page? It's not worth our time. It's really not. It, watch it. Watch the show, guys. After you watch this review. Mm -hmm. uh, Paige and Shane are out there. Shane is the best in the world. No, he's not. <sighs> Chance for CM Punk in the crowd. <coughs> Appropriate, but also... Eh. Well, you know what, though? <coughs> they asked for this. Mm. I, Shane even played it off like I'm not, I'm not Shane's going heel. Because people are stupid. And bad at everything. Yes, we do not need more... Can they drop the heel authority figure thing, please? No. Why can't they? Because sometimes a heel authority figure is what you need. Can we get a good heel authority figure? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> well, okay, so you got Paige and Shane out there. But then, Shane says he's going to announce... The captain. Yes! Or Team SmackDown. And who else could it be? But do 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 but do the Brian Danielson, also, Daniel Bryan, and known as the American Angry Dragon. Don't Google that. Um, but Miz is also co-captain, so now you get well, them fighting. Miz came out <clears throat> to address Shane McMahon as to why he's not the captain. Uh -huh. So Shane McMahon talks to Paige, and they come to the conclusion that you guys we can be co-captains. That determines the team SmackDown's going to lose. Correct and, that, and that's stupid. But whatever. It, <coughs> a lot of talking in this early segment. Mm -hmm. A lot of talking. But you're going to get Brian and Miz. It's, it's just, I just don't care. I. Uh, this was actually a good episode of SmackDown. It was. Definitely. I just, I don't know. And. Miz and Brian are backstage, and Miz picks Shane to be on the team because Shane is the best wrestler in the world. And Daniel Bryan <laughs> agrees? Did they become best friends? Yup! <laughs> and then we get New Day versus the Usos. The winner is the captain of the tag team elimination match that they're going to do in Survivor Series, which is the one night of the year where Raw and SmackDown go head to head. What? Apparently. I mean, Royal Rumble, Mania, all that. The World Cup? Mm. Doesn't count. But, New Day News, so you really need us yeah, to make it. Yeah, Well, your best, and that was like one of your earliest title cards. <coughs> Do you need us to recap a New Day Usos match? No. It was good. It was really good. It solidly worked. Yeah. Biggie. Um, it makes sense in this case to have them go up against each other, only because they wanted their two best tag teams. Both in terms of storyline and also two of the best tag teams in wrestling. Yeah. In WWE. I put them up against other teams and other promotions. Well, sure, but they're two of the best. Right, right. No, no, no. I mean, and I, I get what you're saying. Biggie needs to stop doing that dive, but the Usos won. Correct. In very convincing fashion. It was good stuff. I mean, they showed respect for each other, and they're like, bringing the New Day in on the team. Which is a smart call. Mm-hmm. We're the good brothers. Home of the good brothers. And can they take any bookings? No, they're just beating up. Uh, they're, they're just dealing with a bunch of nerds. I'm now picturing them with a sponsorship with nerds. That would be funny. It would be, actually. It would be too sweet. It would be, sugar. Sugar. <laughs> it would be if you eat too many of them. Um, <clears throat> Brian is backstage with Miz, and Brian picks Ray to be on Team SmackDown. Yep, and uh, Daniel Bryan wants to have Andrade Cien Almas. No, Miz wants Andrade Cien Almas. Did I say Miz? I thought you said Bryan. Oh. Miz wants Andrade Cien Almas. Which is going to lead us to a match a little bit later. But first, Becky's promo on Ronda. Becky, hugely over, as you would expect. And her Twitter game is... On point. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, but Becky gets all fired up, all fired up and everything, and... Decides to have an open challenge. Yes. She wants to have a fight. Yes. And who should appear? SmackDown found their sanity? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eric Young wants to be SmackDown Women's Champion. To go with him being TNA Knockouts Tag Team Champion. Gross. No, seriously, he was. Him and ODB were the last champion. But anyway. Right. Uh, but, it, but it was not Eric Young. It right. was a jest. Right. It was actually Nikki Cross. And Nikki wants to play with Becky. I'm not pointing at anything. You really? Eh. 
Hey, you're pointing. Whatever. It's all good. Nikki wants to play with Becky, and I a thousand fanfics were launched. <laughs> the Manchester crowd all at once. Mm. <laughs> Even the women. I mean, <laughs> watch Scotland and Ireland just, just, you know, just do whatever the hell I'm doing right here. The hell am I doing? Gross. You're kind of related. Becky and Nikki are kind of related? No, Scotland and Ireland. Wait, they are? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, back in the days, royalty. <clears throat> but everyone was related in royalty. Everyone. <laughs> they still are now, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so that, that we, was... We don't prefer the term <laughs> inbred. We prefer the term purebred. <laughs> God save the queen! <laughs> Becky and Nikki? Yes. Decided to play by having a match. Yes. It was a good match. Nikki had a good showing. Becky won after tapping her out. Yep. <coughs> this is... I don't know if this is going to be a full call-up for Nikki. There isn't... You were saying earlier, isn't Yeah, there's not much that she can really do in NXT uh, without taking attention away from the other people they need to build up. True. Having her on the main roster could prove beneficial because now you've got the complete sanity. Uh... And Nikki Cross can put on some great matches with a lot of the uh, upper card talent and lower card. Yeah, I mean, she could put... Match, her and Asuka had a hell of a Last Woman Standing match, which was the first ever Last Woman Standing match, not the one at Evolution, which is on my favorite matches of the year list. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a good match, and Nikki got to play. I don't know which one is. <coughs> which one is what? Yes. God damn it. Uh, but Nikki lost... Good enough match. And then we get a Nakamura promo. Mm -hmm. Back up his match with Seth Rollins. Hands up if you forgot that Nakamura was the U.S. champion, because creative sure as fuck did. And nobody has raised their hands. They don't... <laughs> well, there's only one other person here. Just... And we can't see them <laughs> raising their hands. True. Why do they not care about Nakamura? Them? I don't know. The, the, the creative. Why does creative not care about Nakamura? I mean, he is U.S. champion. They've just had so many plot lines and so many pay-per-views to plan for. They gave him a uh, pre-show match with Rusev, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, that crown jewel. Something with zero build that no one really cared about. That's why Saudi Arabia deserved that. <coughs> Especially the government. So then we get Ray versus Almas in a good match. It was a bit short, but it was a TV match. Yeah. Almas got in a lot of good offense. I don't think it was quite the epic that people were expecting. But it's not going to happen yet. Correct. Could happen in Mania. Yep. Shout out to Jeremy Aiden 911 who came up with the idea of Ray taking the U.S. title for Nakamura at some point and then dropping it to Almas at uh, WrestleMania. Mm. They'll do it on the pre-show. Mm -hmm. Which is stupid. Yep. The cruise boys. <laughs> hey, Ray! Oh, that explains it. <laughs> there you go. But it was a good match, and Ray won. Mm -hmm. uh, so Ray is on Team SmackDown. Woo! And then, oh god, or Orton suddenly came from out of somewhere. And then also RKO'd from out of nowhere. Poor Ray, his, he hurt his mask. Mm. And I guess maybe we're gonna have Orton. Don't worry, he's got like a thousand of them. Yep, that's just underneath the one mask. <laughs> 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 Going up against TJP, my ultimate enemy. <laughs> it's like pulling the. It's like the magician pulling the you know the scars out of his mouth or mm -hmm. something like that. So then you had a Styles promo about Lesnar and uh, <sighs> Styles is gonna lose. You shouldn't. Ooh, you did have uh, first a uh, backstage section with Daniel Bryan and the Miz about Joe and Jeff, about Randy Orton attacking Rey Mysterio oh. and Daniel Bryan. Uh, getting aggressive with The Miz, mm -hmm. because he thinks The Miz is fucking with his picks. Mm -hmm. um, Miz said no. No. Because he hates Orton and doesn't want to shake his hand. Who would? All right. <laughs> but Styles promo by Lesnar. Yeah. Styles is going to lose. Probably. He shouldn't. Yep. Lesnar needs to go away. Just, just get rid of him. Get the Universal title off him. Get on to Kurt Hawkins. At this point, I don't care. Mm. That'd be a hell of a first win. <laughs> Yeah, it would be. Drew. Drew. Uh, Drew's about it. Drew, Drew. I mean, Drew or Rollins, I don't know. Drew. Just give it to Drew. Um, if you want to have Rollins slay him and slay the beast and then 
Ambrose beats with Danbros. Yeah, and then Ambrose beats him at Mania. Fine. Mm-hmm. I, just, I, don't, I don't care. Just I'm over Lesnar. I don't care how legitimate athlete he is. I can go bang his fucking stupid cunt Barbie doll wife. Which, by the way, fuck Sable. I'm glad that she's not on. I TV. bet he does. Yeah, right. I only have two kids. I bet together. they have the sloppiest, most violent sex ever. Well, I mean, it's like an RV. Think about it. No. No, stop thinking God about it. God damn it, Chris. <laughs> Then the women's SmackDown Live team. Paige comes out to announce Carmella is going to be part of the team. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> already we're off to a great start. Uh, Naomi, that happened. Yeah. Sonya, good idea. Um, a project with somebody certainly that's worth it. And then? Asuka. Yes. And then Charlotte's music hits, but Charlotte doesn't come out. Nope. Mandy does. Because Mandy's theme is thanks. Yeah. And Mandy's not gonna be part of the team, but Mandy's like, why'd you pick Sonya? When I eliminate her from the Battle Royal? Oscar, yeah. uh, uh, Oscar, or Empress of Tomorrow? More like yesterday's news. And Oscar hearing that for the 10 millionth time. Right. There is one good line that Mandy had though. Yes. To Carmella, your dance breaks are like your title reign, short and meaningless. Ooh! That was Rob, a good one. That was a good one. That was that, that was probably that's actually probably the peak of Mandy's promos. Um, got better. <sighs> anyway, Sonya's better than Mandy. I'm just gonna say it right now. Yeah. Um. I don't think anyone would argue with you there. That has a yeah, few brain cells put together. This is true. So yeah, that's gonna be an interesting team. I don't know what's gonna happen with the women's teams. Um, and Survivor Series is 12 days away. They need to stop having so many goddamn shows so they can actually build some of these pay-per-views. This is so slapped together. Correct. It's bad. Yes. It may not be a bad show, but War Games is going to be better. It's going to be a lot better. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about, like, 1987 War Games. Or Fall Brawl 96. That was a good pay-per-view. Brian and Miz on commentary for this match with Jeff Hardy versus Samoa Joe. And, oh my god, if Jeff would have won if he wasn't so focused. He was just so fucking focused. And Joe started kicking his ass from the beginning. <laughs> As is tradition. Yeah, just... Joe ended up beating Jeff after reverse, getting his knees up after a swanton, and one, two... Oh wait, he submitted him. He didn't get him in. Oh yes. He submitted Jeff and choked him out. And Jeff tapped. Tapped like... He, no. he tapped that. <laughs> he did. As Joe was tapping him from behind. What? <laughs> but then you have this end where um, Joe is like, you know, taunting Daniel Bryan. Bryan starts attacking him. Miz is like, what the hell are you doing, Daniel? Yeah, uh, because he drags him to the middle of the ring, puts him in a yes lock. Miz goes trying to interrupt uh, and get him off of Samoa Joe. So Daniel Bryan attacks him. Shane McMahon tries to intervene. And Brian attacks him. And Brian looks uh, frustrated. Mm-hmm. Team SmackDown is going to lose. Probably. Which is stupid. Yep. Because Brian deserves a lot better. I know they have a lot of plot lines going, but Brian really does deserve better than this. B for SmackDown. Yeah, B's, B's a fair grade. Uh, and there's a poll right up here. Uh, again, though, we're going to be skipping Mixed Match Challenge because it's not worth your time. It's not worth our time either. Uh, I mean, it's not <clears throat> worth your time to hear a review of two matches that barely meant anything, if ever will mean anything. I will say, though, the crowd chanting, yeah. Bailey, yes. you know, ooh, ah, uh, I want to know, will you be my girl? That was a highlight of the thing. That was cool. And her just kind of like, just soaking it all in. John. Alfredo Reyes, you stop thinking that right now. <laughs> um... So anyway, agree, disagree with what we said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter, handle, thumbnail. Yeah! And the video from this guy. He has two thumbnails. Two of them. Wow. But only one for this video. Right. And for you. <clears throat> and for... For the public? For the people. Oh god, Rikishi's ad again? But yeah, this has been Real Honesty with John Ritland. Yeah. I am not John Ritland. I am the Durbinator. And you have a great night.